recall a beautiful poem by one of the most famous poet her name was shanta sherke <clears throat> and she used to write poems very subtle poems very beautiful choice of words very simple so this poem was a, was an ode to mother the poem is tula baba mala baba tula dada mala dada tula tai mala tai tula ai mala nai to translate it very simple words but so effective so potent the poet says you have father i have father you have brother i have brother you have sister i have sister you have mother i don't so simple and so beautifully put because of the value of a mother is known after she is gone so coming to the sutras because we don't want to be gone right we very much want to be here doing our good work one saint once said that what will i do by going there whether i am there or whether i am here i am with him so it doesn't make any difference to me agar seva karne ko milegi to main to bar bar aaunga yeah so i hope that you have studied you have ruminated over last week's matter because rumination is very important the shravana chatushtaya is very important shravana manana chintana and nidhi dhyasana to hear or read then analyze diagnose synthesize create your own understanding then contemplate on that understanding that is chintana so shravana manana chintana and then to become that is nidhi dhyasana that is samadhi to become this is the course of our study so here patanjali is asking you he has opened the topic last time we saw that yog is to be achieved the ultimate goal is to be achieved there is no goal beyond that it is the param purushartha the means are inside of you the raw material is inside of you but a tremendous amount of reordering has to be done because the preordered circuits have gone wrong so first he asks you to understand your mind
the body of your mind is known by your chitta vrittis. What is your mind? Your mind is manifested by way of chitta vrittis. If you want to see the working of your mind, you have to see your own chitta vrittis. Because they are the modus operandi. The five vrittis are the five modes through which your mind operates. Pramana, Viparya, Vikalpa, Nidra, Smritayaha. There is nothing, absolutely nothing beyond these five. So if you understand these five, how they work, What is your pravritti? Which vritti is more dear to you? Because each one of us has a different makeup. Whether you like to be in praman more or you like to be in viparya more or you like to get lost in your vikalpa, your dreams, your imaginations, your daydreaming, or your sankalpa? Or do you want nidra? Is nidra so dear to you? Or is your mind inclined to be more in the domain of smriti? Always in memory. Always in memory, remembering things of the past. So you have to understand the makeup of your own mind by observing in which chitta vritti it likes to dwell. What is the content of that chitta vritti? Is that content conducive for my yogic journey or it is hampering my yogic journey? It is an obstacle in my yogic journey. To understand all this, Patanjali has brought up this topic of Chitta Vrittis in the very beginning. If you learn to observe them, you will learn to control them. But your mind is so volatile, it is so mercurial, that even to observe a phenomenon for a duration of time, it finds very difficult because of its monkey tendency of jumping from one object to another, from this subject to that subject. So first of all, you have to make your mind still on one subject or object. Let us call it object so that there is no confusion between subject and object because you are subjective. And you have to train yourself to hold on to an object in your mind. Abhyas begins there. Tatra sthitau yatnaha abhyasaha. Tatra in that, in what? In the body yogic. What is the body yogic? The eight limbs of yoga. Yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi. To stay put under the umbrella 
of Ashtanga Yoga, that is Abhyas, 24 by 7, Satu Dirga Kala Nairantarya Satkara Sevitaha Drudha Bhumihi. How long have you to do you have to study? Dirga Kala means till you die. Nairantarya. Nirantar. Nirantar means one who is always close. There is no antar, there is no distance between that thing and me. Sada Samib means Nirantar. So Patanjali says, Abhyas is to be done Dirga Kala Nirantara and with reverence, Satkara Sevito. In Shankar Vivaranam of the Yoga Sutras, Shankar has used the word Samskara Sevito instead of Satkara Sevito. So the sutra there is Satu Dirka Kala Nairantarya Samskara Sevito Drudha Bhumihi. So which means Till the samskar becomes deep, the samskar of abhyas, abhyas of tatra sthito, abhyas of being in the yogic temperament, yogic mode, kaya vacha manasa, that is abhyas. Tatra sthito yatnaha abhyasaha. And Satu Dirga Kala Nairantarya Satkara Sevito Druda Bhumihi. So that Abhyas Patanjali says it has to be done with Shraddha, Virya, Smruti, Samadhi, Pradnya, Purvakaha. So in your study, there have to be five factors. First is faith. Unflinching faith in your Guru and in the Sutras. Unflinching faith in Patanjali. Unflinching faith in the Sutras that they are true. Because they have been written out of experience. It is a darshan. So somebody has seen it. And that is why he has written about it. A darshan is always written after the person has seen it, sakshat. So to have faith that yes, yoga is going to give me all that it promises. Virya. Because when you have unflinching faith, you will have the tenacity to be studious every day, day in, day out. That is virya. Virya is courage. But courage begets tenacity. You don't have to be courageous. You can't be courageous one day. And next day you put all your uh, sword and all the things down. You can't do that. You have to be courageous every day. A little by the side, I am uh, reminded of a beautiful prayer, which was the favorite prayer of Mother Teresa. It is, Lord, help me to remember that nothing is going to happen to me today that you and I cannot handle. That was her favorite prayer. So to be courageous, Every day, today and every day. And continue your abhyas. So, Shraddha, Virya, Smriti, 
because when you are tenacious and you are at your studies every day, then you develop that constant remembrance. The constant remembrance of the goal. Because otherwise we forget our goal. There is Smriti. A very important Smriti. There is a Shruti. That Smriti Lambe Sarva Granthina Vipra Moksha Ahara Shuddho Sattva Shuddhi Sattva Shuddho Dhruva Smriti Smriti Lambe Sarva Granthina Vipra Moksha so Smriti, the constant remembrance that I have to have Sakshatkar of this divinity in my heart. I have to realize all those four Mahavakyas. Aham Brahmasmi, Prajyanam Brahma, Tattvamasi, I am Atma Brahma. That is the final goal. <coughs> So a constant remembrance develops and that aids in your samadhi. See, there is a progression here. Shraddha, Virya, Smriti, constant remembrance will push you in samadhi and that will give you the prajna or as you said, pragna. A pragya. In Sanskrit, there is no dnya or gya. There is jya. So the word is prajya. The so shraddha, virya, smriti, samadhi, prajya. Prajya means purified buddhi. A buddhi which is unbiased unsullied, unadulterated. It is the product, it is the fruit of Samadhi. If you are able to experience Sampradnyat levels, there are four levels, Vitarga, Vichar, Ananda and Asmita. As you progress on these levels, you will experience this change in your worldly perceptions, your perspective of the mundane, there will be a paradigm shift in the way you look at the world, in the way you experience this world, in the way you react to this world. That is Prajya. It is a product. It is a gift. It is a fruit of Samadhi. So this is the progression Patanjali has given us in this Sutra. Shraddha, Virya, Spruti, Samadhi, Prajna, Purvaka. And on this journey, you know, your attachments change. Previously, you were attached to certain things. Now you get detached with them and you get attached to something very beautiful, very permanent, not at all temporal. And that is your source. The antar yamin, the inner doer. So as you start getting attached due to your shraddha, your virya, your smriti, your samadhi and prajna, so as you start progressing there, your attachment towards the source increases with such intensity. You are in love that automatically you will get detached and vairagya will set in. There is nothing sad about vairagya. In fact, 
vairagya is the happiest state because the person is not thirsty for anything drushta anushravika vishaya vidrushnasya vashikara sangnya vairagya drushta means seen subjects is zindagi mein abhi kya 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 dekha hai kya dekhna hai kya baaki hai bahut kuch hai bahut kuch dekha सब वही है सब टेम्पररी है सब कुछ बहता हुआ है परमानेंट नहीं है परिणाम ताप संस्कार दुख ही गुणवृत्ति विरोधाच दुख में सर्व विवेक न दिस इज अ सूत्र फ्रॉम साधन पाद as you start to develop the discriminative discernment which has been called viveka in the sutras the differentiation between the true you and the imposed you as you start to differentiate by seeing again and again that happiness what has been your definition of happiness gratification of your sense organs and mind gratification of your indriya is your happiness you want to feel fine physically either or mentally when the sense organs and the mind so mind is also a sense organ it is the king of all 10 five sensory and five organs of action so that is why it is called ekadasha indriya that is 11 <coughs> mind is the devendra so when you are these ekadasha indriya they are not gratified you suffer that is the your definition of suffering is it true suffering is it true happiness okay for the time being it is but it is temporal when you enjoy something or when you get gratification sensual gratification that particular sense organ is honed further for the same type of gratification because all our organs are hedonistic in nature that is their pleasure seeking it is their nature they always look outward paranchi khani vyatrunat swayambhu because the windows of those sensory organs of yours they have been carved outside by the swayambhu by the all my by the sculptor he has sculpted your sensory organs with their windows opening outside so paranchi khani they only can look outside tasmat parang pashyati na antaratman that is why they see outside and not the inside कश्चित धीर प्रत्यगात्म नक्षत बट सम ब्रेव कम्स वंस इन अल हुई प्रत्यक आत्मा प्रत्यक चेतना एस पतंजलि आवृत्त चक्षु हु हैज विड्रॉन द सेंसेस हु हैज टर्न द विंडोज इनवर्ड अमृतत्व ichan and who has an intense desire to meet to become 
वन विद द डिविनिटी यम वैश्य वृणुते तेन लभ्य दिस इज अ श्रुति नायम आत्मा प्रवचनेन लभ्यो न मेधया न बहु न श्रुतेन you can hear talks like me from me from people like me it is not going to see you through nayam atma pravachanena labhyo you are not going to get it na medhaya na bahuna shrutena you may go to various gurus or various cults various organizations you are not going to get it you might have a big iq a very high iq you are not going to get it na medhaya na bahuna shrutena you may be very very learned you must have you might have done double phd in indology you are not going to get it yam vaishya vrunute tena labhya only the one who see He is going to get it. Why? Because Tasya Esha Atma Vibrunte Tanun Swam. He will reveal himself unto you. You can't see him. He will reveal himself unto you. That is the promise of the Shruti. So. परिणाम दुख इट इज कॉल्ड परिणाम दुख वेन यू एक्सपीरियंस जॉय हैपीनेस बाय सेंशुअल ग्रेटिफिकेशन दैट सेंस ऑर्गन इज होन्ड टू गो आउटवर्ड मोर देन टू देन टू होल्ड ऑन टू दैट ऑब्जेक्ट व्हिच गिव्स यू सेंशुअल ग्रेटिफिकेशन व्हाट ऑल यू हैव टू डू दैट आसक्ति दैट क्रेविंग it will make you do all sorts of karmas that is taap dukh and the sanskar of that vasana will be made on your chit the notch will become deeper that is sanskar dukh so parinam taap sanskar dukh hi and गुण वृत्ति विरोधाच्व रज एंड द तम सत्व इज ट्रैंक्विलिटी इट गिव्स यू ट्रैंक्विलिटी रजस यूजर गिव्स यू एजिटेशन इट पुट्स यू इन एक्शन and tamas it gives you energy it makes you opaque and these three gunas they are the ingredients of your chitta and they are in constant flux and because you have no control over them you have not trained yourself to control them they run amok on a trail of destruction inside of your head not knowing whether you are going whether your gaddi is going in the direction of bhog or it is going in the direction of yog so bhoga apavargartham drushya apavarg is a word for moksha which was used by nyayik people in fact which patanjali has used in the sutras so when you begin to progress in the stages of samprajna samadhi all these things begin to happen you start to see the temporal nature of your so called happiness and so called suffering or sorrow <clears throat> and then that detachments detachment burgeons in your heart 
because now you are attached to something very beautiful the very word detachment suggests that you are detaching from something and attaching to something so abhyas and vairagya happen together if you say that you are doing yoga abhyas and if vairagya is not happening then there is something wrong with your abhyas <clears throat> so patanjali has used the word vashikar here vachaspati mishra who was a philosopher from the 9th century ad <coughs> common era so uh, vachaspati mishra said that there are four levels of vairagya the first he called yatman the second he said vyatirek third ekendriya and fourth is vashikar which patanjali has spoken about so yatman means uh, you know that there are certain things you want to get rid of they are they are hampering your progress on the yogic path you have identified those things you want to get away from them you want to kill your craving for those things so your identification of what you don't want is the yatman level then you get rid of certain things but certain things are still there that is called the next vyatirek then the third stage is now there is no trishna no thirst for anything whatsoever but that sanskar is still there that sanskar means the the desires they have become dormant they have not they are not active now but they are there they are very much alive but they are dormant but that but they are still pulsating under the ground if they get an opportunity conducive environment they may sprout up again that is the ekendriya stage and when that also goes away then it is that vashikar stage while talking on this patanjali says that okay the goal is chitta vritti nirodha for that nirodh abhyas and vairagya are the two answers how will you achieve chitta vritti nirodha abhyas and vairagya abhyas of what abhyas of ashtang dirgha kala nirantar abhyas and vairagya will go hand in hand abhyas is to be done with shraddha virya samadhi smruti samadhi pragna purvak but you be aware of the obstacles that will come on the way and then patanjali gives us nine obstacles they are vyadhi styana samshay pramad alasya avirati bhranti darshana alabd bhumi katva anavasti tatvani chitta vikshepah te antaraya they are the obstacles vyadhi means some physical ailment you might be suffering from because of the imbalance in doshas that is vyadhi it hampers it obstructs your practice styana styan means you are capable of doing it but you don't feel like doing it 
there is no motivation from the heart to do yoga abhyas you know it it is happening around you but you don't have that in your heart that you will jump up from your chair and go for the yoga abhyas that is called dhyana chitta ki akarmanyata samshaya is this really going to work oh my god such fantastic claims are there in the yoga sutras in the vibhuti part is it really going to happen does it really work so having doubts about the shastra about your guru that is some shit there is a huge impediment pramada pramada means being able to do but to not do it out of sheer carelessness or some fake false pride that oh i have done so much now i know everything that is pramad i don't need to practice now alasya laziness <clears throat> when you go on the mat you sit on the mat and you start yawning suddenly the body the inertia sets in you go on the mat and the tamas sets in that is alasya avirati avirati is hankering intense desire for sensual gratification that is avirati intense desire mm -hmm. you see that you are not supposed to eat sugar and you see that <clears throat> freshly cooked soft cookie with chunks of chocolate in it and you have a an intense desire to consume it that is avirati bhranti darshan you have been practicing meditation for a few years and suddenly you start walking on the cloud you think you are superior you are a senior meditator and that's a very <laughs> that's a ridiculous thing to say a senior meditator there is no such thing so that is bhanti darshan thinking that you have achieved also under bhanti darshan comes that you are you are meditating on an object and suddenly out of the blue some other vulgar object comes in front of your eyes which is what nothing to do with your object of meditation why does this happen this is bhanti darshan this happens because of those kleshas in your unconscious mind we are coming to that alabdha bhumikatva means not getting not gaining the ground not winning the ground which you want to not reaching up to that mark that is alabdha bhumikatva not getting not finding your moorings and anavasti tatvani means finding them but losing them immediately you think you you get hold of something you think oh it's it's yours and it's gone it's not yours these are nine obstacles on the path now here patanjali says now let us club together this information what is the goal goal 
is God realization inside of you. That is the goal. What is the means? Chitta vritti nirodha. What are the chitta vrittis? Your chitta vrittis is your mind, which functions in five ways. Pramana, viparya, vikalpa, nidra, smrutaya. We have to understand in which mode we dwell more. Whether that mode and my dwelling into it is conducive for my yogic path or it is taking me away from the yogic path. For that, abhyas and vairagya, to keep those vrittis in control. First, to understand them. Then to be in the good vrittis as against the bad vrittis. To train yourself to be in the good vrittis. Because that is going to give you santosh, contentment. And only if you are contented, then you can become uh, vairagi. Then only you can get detached. If you are not content, how will you get detached? So, abhyasa vairagya. He shows you how to do the abhyas. Shraddha virya smuti samadhi pradnya purva. He warns you of the obstacles. And then he tells you, Tivra samvegana masannaha. Asana means next to you. If your intensity, intensity is everything, bhav is everything. This is not a physical world out there. This is an emotional world out there. You don't see it. But this universe runs on emotions rather than physics. So bhav is extremely important. Patanjali says, how intensely do you desire will decide how close it is to you. Ah, you might have desire, an intense desire, but you might be lagging in your efforts. So the next sutra is Rudu Madhya Adimatra Twatopi Visheshaha. A very important sutra is here. So what he is doing, he is telling you, he is giving you the whole picture. But this is it. And your the intensity of your desire will decide how close you are to your goal. Also, how much efforts you are putting for it. Your intensity must may, may, may be 100%. But are you putting 100% efforts? Or they are mild, mrudu, madhya, moderate, or adhimatra, intense. And the next sutra, Ishwar Pranidhanatva. And whether you are doing Ishwar Pranidhan or not. That will decide. So three factors are going to decide. Your intensity. The efforts. Whether the efforts match the intensity. And whether there is Ishwar Pranidhan in it. So if there is intensity. Matching effort. And Ishwar Pranidhan. Then you have reached. And here he begins the prakaran of Ishwar. A very unique way he has defined Ishwar. Just in three sutras. Klesha karma vipaka asha hi aparamrushta purusha vishesha Ishwara. The first sutra. He says that Ishwar, he is called you Purush. He is calling him 
विशेष पुरुष सो इज ऑल्सो एस्टैब्लिशिंग अ बॉन्ड बिटवीन हिम एंड यू इट इज अ फादर सन बॉन्ड क्लेश वी सॉ वॉट क्लेश आर अविद्या अस्मिता राग द्वेश अभिनिवेश the five kleshas and these kleshas run your life they are your uh sh- cognitive shortcuts we can say because they are your ready reckoner you know the in income tax there is a ready reckoner ready reference they are your cognitive shortcuts they are deep in your unconscious mind and they are doing all your work unconsciously you are not aware but they guide your thought process they guide in which vritti you are going to be <clears throat> and if kleshas are playing havoc inside then most of the time you are in viparya vritti this is to be studied it's a very interesting study kleshas will make you stay in viparya vritti more viparya yo mithya gnanam atadarupa pratishtha so klesh because klesh make you act they create karma so klesh karma when karma happens the fruit has to come the moment you do karma karma means any act with desire when there is a desire behind your action it comes under the category of karma okay we are going to talk about this separately the karma theory <coughs> fruition of the karma is vipak and that whole experience is recorded as a sanskar which creates a bank which is called ashe karma shay so there is a bank of your desires in you there is this template of klesha the five klesh template is in you they have made you perform on the karmas their fruits and a reservoir of the karma whose fruits you have to yet get and who predict your future actions as well because they are the bank of your desires the samskars the samskars of your desires but the one who is untouched with all this ever he was not touched with all this before also he is not touched with all this mess which is yours now also and he won't be touched he'll remain untouched by all this mess which you are in future also now why did patanjali have to explain ishwar in this peculiar fashion on one side he is saying that klesh karma vipaka ashaya अपरामृष्ट एब्सुलूटली अंटस्ट पुरुष विशेष ईश्वर ही इज ईश्वर ही इज गॉड द रीजन ही इज सेंग इट इन दिस वे इज एक्सट्रीमली ब्यूटिफुल इट इज इट इज अ मास्टर स्ट्रोक बाय पतंजलि एब्सुलूट मास्टर स्ट्रोक बिकॉज दिस proves beyond doubt according to the sutra that this ishwar is nowhere to be found but in your own heart because he is saying that you are affected by kleshas by karma by the fruition by the reservoir the bank the ashay of karma but 
even though he is inside of you, he is the core of you, he stays unaffected. So, in one sutra, he has characterized Ishwar by giving him no character and establishing his presence closest to you, which is your heart. The second sutra is Tatra Nirati Shayam Sarvadnya Bija. Which means that this divinity, this faculty, this God, He has the DNA blueprint, DNA print of everything that is in the universe. Nirati Shayam means Jisse Atishaya bhi kuch nahi hai. There is nothing more than that. Sarvadnya. Everything <clears throat> knows because that supreme consciousness has the blueprint, the genetic blueprint of everything manifest, unmanifest in this whole universe. So in this sutra, he is highlighting his omnipotence, omniscience, and omnipresence. And the third sutra, Sapurve Shamapi Guruhu Kalena Anavacheda. That all the masters before you also have had the same guru. Here he uses the word guru for God, for Ishwar, clearly signifying who is guru, what is the meaning of guru, the one who removes darkness, the one who removes wrong knowledge from you and instills correct knowledge in you. He is the Guru and he is untouched by time. Kalena Anavacheda, time doesn't affect him, which means he is eternal. He is Anadi. He is the one who has no beginning. He is the one who has always been there and he is the same. To whom all your previous masters have bowed and contemplated upon. So he's reassuring. That's it. These are the three sutras explaining God in Patanjal Yoga Sutra. This is such a universal definition of God. I don't think any so-called religion or sect will have any objection in saying that, okay, this description befits our God. Because this description, these three sutras are so well thought out. They are so precise. But this, irrespective of your religion, would be your God. Then he says, Tasya Vachakaha Pranavaha. He says his name is Pranava. Now, Pranava does not necessarily mean Om. Because the yutpatti of pranava, etymology of pranava is 
प्रकर्षेण नूयते स्तूयते इति प्रणव द वर्ड व्हिच इंटेंसली डिस्क्राइब्स एंड एक्सटोल्स यूलोजाइजेस हिम इज हिज नेम सो फॉर मी इट इज ओम for you it could be allah for you it could be mara natha it could be lord it could be anything and that is why there is another sutra there tat pratishedartham ek tatva abhyasa so patanjali has said tasya vachaka pranava we take it as om Take it as any word, but then he says that Japah Tadartha Bhavana. You have to chant that name in constant remembrance. But with the understanding of whom are you calling? Now here those sutras are of. utmost importance because the bhav of the sutra has to be in your heart when you chant his name otherwise that chanting is useless so which bhav that he is very much within me the place where i'm going to do this sakshatkar is nowhere else but within me he is unaffected by all the mess of my klesh karma vipak ashray he is omnipresent present omnipotent omniscient he is the guru my own personal guru which all my previous masters have worshiped and have devoted their lives with this understanding you have to do the chant so tivra samveganam asannah nudu madhya adhimatra tvartatto pi visheshah ईश्वर प्रणिधान सो ईश्वर प्रणिधान मीन्स टू बिकम मनुष्य how will you worship god by becoming human there is only one commandment in the vedas manur bhava become human there is only one commandment you are just born in human species that doesn't give you any right unless you become human karmanne vadhikar aste this is the meaning manushya bano kon manushya hai jo dharma ka palan karta hai and what is dharma yama and niyam is the dharma ashtanga yoga is the dharma next time we will do kriya yoga we will practice kriya yoga according to patanjali's sutra 
so we will say the shanti part from ishavasi upanishad and then i will stop and take a couple of questions sit up right you in your palms om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnam adaya purnam evavashishyate Om Shanti 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 Deep inhalation with the exhalation, roll your head down and surrender to your 